Hi there and welcome to WCMU's Quiz Central. Our teams tonight are Northern Michigan Christian and Manistee Catholic Central, so don't go away. Support for Quiz Central is provided by the CMU Bookstore. T-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, maroon and gold memories, and an official outfitter of Adidas apparel at the Central Michigan University owned and operated CMU Bookstore. Online shopping seven days a week at cmubookstore.com, on campus at the University Center, and game day locations at Kelly Short Stadium and the John G. Kulhalvy Event Center. Good luck to both of our teams. Let's play Quiz Central. Chopin. Correct. All right, your next toss up. The lottery. Right. The stranger. You are correct. Traverse City Central hangs on. They are our season champions. Hi there, and thanks for tuning in to Quiz Central. I'm your host, Steve Smith. And our featured teams tonight come from Northern Michigan Christian and McBain and Manistee Catholic Central. There are two of 48 teams competing again this season. The Quiz Central teams are divided into four divisions based on school size. Each division will have a champion, and one of those teams will become this season's overall winner. We have scholarships as prizes from Central Michigan University, and Rick Westover tells us more about that. The four starters and three alternates of the division championship teams will each receive a two-year, $4,000 room and board scholarship from Central Michigan University Residence Life. In addition, four lucky Quiz Central seniors will receive textbook scholarships from the CMU Bookstore. And a special thanks to CMU Enrollment and Student Services, which provides lunch for our contestants and their traveling party. All right, both teams are ready to play, so let's jump right into the maroon and gold round. Teams, the two, uh, the maroon and gold round gives you two minutes to answer as many questions as possible. If the team ringing in misses the question, the opposing team will have a chance to respond. There is no talking among team members, and correct answers are worth 10 points. Good luck to both teams. Let's play Quiz Central. In what country was 1975 referred to as Year Zero by a communist regime led by Pol Pot that buried victims in the killing fields? Next question. Tierra del Fuego is separated from mainland South America by what strait named after a 16th century explorer? Next question. What sculptor of eternal springtime included the three shades atop a set of bronze doors depicting scenes from the Inferno, his The Gates of Hell? Next question. What folk artist whose paintings include sugaring off was nicknamed Grandma due to the advanced age at which she began painting? Claire, Manistee Catholic Central. Grandma Moses. That's right. In August 2019, what state was the site of a mass shooting after a traffic stop near Odessa and racially motivated shooting at a Walmart in El Paso? Blake, Manistee Catholic Central. Texas. That's right. What comic book character, who is the publisher of the Daily Bugle, is usually depicted as having an irrational? Garrett, Northern Michigan Christian. Jameson. I need both names. Jonah J. Jamison. That's correct. All right. What author outlined the conditions needed for women to write in a room of one's own and depicted the Ramsey family in her novel To the Lighthouse? Claire, Manistee Catholic Central. Virginia Woolf. Right. What Swiss, Swiss mathematician laid the foundations for graph theory and topology in 1736 by showing the seven bridges of Koenigsberg problem was unsolvable? Next question. Rosalind Franklin helped reveal the DNA double helix by studying the diffraction of what kind of radiation which is less energetic than gamma rays? Next question. Sorry, you rang in just a little late. And uh, the actual answer would have been x-rays. So at the end of our first round, uh, Manistee Catholic Central has the lead 30 to 10. The questions that were missed, the Swiss mathematician was Leonard Euler. The uh, kind of radiation, as I mentioned, was x-ray. The country uh, where 1975 was referred to as year zero was Cambodia. The strait was the Magellan Strait, sculptor of eternal strait springtime was Auguste Rodin. All right, so now let's turn to our teams and get to know them just a little bit better. Nick, we'll start with you. Uh, I'm Nick Huger. I'm a junior at NMC. I do basketball, soccer, and I'm a member of NHS. 
I'm Kendrick Smulligan. I'm from a junior from NMC. I play soccer, basketball, and baseball, and I enjoy hunting and fishing. I'm Garrett Langton. I'm a senior at NMC. I'm the captain of the Quiz Bowl team and the president of NHS. I'm Jenna Caparis. I play music, and I'm in drama club, and I'm on NHS. All right, it's nice to have you here. Northern Michigan Christians alternates are Wesley Carell and Aria Cuccinella. The team's coach is Dave Van Hatsma. Let's give them a nice round of applause. <laughs> and now to the team from Manistee Catholic Central. Hey there, Blake. I'm Blake Johnson from MCC. I'm a junior and I play baseball, basketball, and golf. I'm Claire Whitliff. I'm a senior at MCC. I am captain of the Quiz Bowl team and a member of the National Honor Society. I'm Elena Pizana, I'm a sophomore at MCC, and I play volleyball and track. I'm Sam Madsen, I'm a junior at MCC, and I play guitar and participate in Quiz Bowl. All right, welcome to Quiz Central. Manistee Catholic Central's alternates are Henry Hibsa, Verda Korzanuski, and Kyle McClendon. They're coached by Jason Allen. Let's give them a nice round of applause. And with our introductions out of the way, let's jump right back into the action in the kickoff round. The kickoff round is a combination of toss-up and bonus questions. The team that correctly answers the toss-up question will be asked a bonus. Then we go back to a toss-up question for both teams. Toss-up questions need an individual response, but team members can consult on the bonus questions. Captains, remember that the answers must come from you on the bonuses unless you defer to a colleague. All right, here's your first toss-up question. The Supreme Court ruling in 1895's Pollock decision was overruled by what amendment ratified in 1913 that permitted a federal income tax? That would have been the 16th Amendment. What Greek goddess who shunned her follower Callisto for being impregnated by Zeus was the twin sister of Apollo and the Virgin, Jenna Artemis. of Northern Michigan Christian? Artemis. That's correct. Here's your bonus. What 17th century philosopher who worked as a lens grinder posthumously published a book entitled Ethics and was a Jewish thinker born in Amsterdam? Uh, no answer. All right, Baruch Spinoza was that person. All right, in what 1990 movie does Kate travel back to Chicago with a polka band and the villainous Wet Bandits try to burglarize young Kevin Garrett, Northern Michigan Christian? Home Alone. That is correct. Here is your bonus question. What country's 2011 Jasmine Revolution toppled the Ben Ali government and kicked off the Arab Spring? Sudan? Tunisia was the correct oh. answer. But back to both teams with a toss-up question. What system that includes a public blacklist and has resulted in millions of people being denied flights assigns reputation scores to Chinese people? That would be the social credit system. La Palma and Tenerife are part of what Spanish archipelago off the coast of Africa? Garrett, Northern Michigan Christian. Guinea Equatorial? Nope, sorry, incorrect. Manistee Catholic Central? It would be the Canary Islands. The next toss-up question for both teams. The Loma Priata earthquake was caused by what fault that separates the Pacific and North American plates and runs for 750 miles in California? Jenna, Northern Michigan Christian. San Andreas. That's correct, and another bonus. What smallest breed of dog is named after a Mexican state? And this is a bonus. Chihuahua. That is correct. All right. What man, man, this is a toss-up for both teams, what man conducted negotiations with Major John Andre to secretly surrender West Point and defected to the British during the Revolutionary War? Garrett, Northern Michigan Christian. Arnold. That's correct, and another bonus. What series of books by Mary Pope Osborne, in which Jack and Annie Smith received missions from Morgan Le Fay, began with 1992's Dinosaurs Before Dark? Magic Treehouse. That's correct, all right, both teams now. What trilogy in which Finney Coderre escapes from the Capitol to District 13 
Claire, Manistee Catholic Central. The Hunger Games? That's right, and a bonus for Manistee Catholic Central. What force is thought to be carried by a spin two boson is described by the theory of general relativity and causes planets to remain in orbit? Defer to Elena. Gravity? That's correct. All right, both teams play. What artist of a set of drawings in the opera box painted the boating party and many scenes of mothers and children and was a female impressionist? That artist was Mary Cassatt. And conveniently, that is also the end of our kickoff round. All right, we've got a close game. Northern Michigan Christian 70, Manistee Catholic Central 50. So it's a 20 point game here. We are going to take a quick break and when we come back, we'll see if either team can score a perfect 10. So don't go away. I took astronomy from Carl Sagan in 1977. But the guy had a huge influence on me. Cosmos on PBS was Carl Sagan's lectures with fabulous graphics. Neil Nye, the science guy. PBS and I are perfect match. It's just wonderful programming, not just for kids, but for all of us. Hey, carry on. Don't you people have school to work on? Today, children have more ways to learn and grow than ever before. But in rural areas of our country, millions don't have access to high-speed internet. For these families, television is often their only source of educational programming. The new PBS Kids 24-7 channel is available for those who need it most, providing content that's proven to build important skills for every child. Welcome back to Quiz Central and the Perfect 10 round. The Perfect 10 gives you 60 seconds to answer 10 questions from your choice of clues to three categories. The opposing team gets 30 seconds to tackle all unasked missed or passed questions. Northern Michigan Christian has the lead, so Manistee Catholic Central has first choice. Today's clues to the categories are, oh no, it's math. This is an easy category and Sam's Club. Oh no, it's math. This is an easy category and Sam's Club. Which one are you going to choose out of that? We'll take Sam's Club. Sam's Club, all right. Sam's is the actual category. Give the family names of these real or fictitious Sam's and Samuels. And your, your player, playmate here doesn't count, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Actor who played Nick Fury in Iron Man. Samuel L. Jackson. That's right. Poet of The Rime of the Ancient Mariner. Pass. Former Red Sox pitcher who owns the bar in the sitcom Cheers. Sam Malone. Right. Founder of Quebec City. Pass. Brother of Dean on the TV show Supernatural. Pass. Author of the plays Endgame and Waiting for Godot. Beckett. Yes. Director of the James Bond films, Skyfall and Spectre. Pass. Composer of Adagio for Strings. Pass. 18th century lexico lexicographer in the, uh, who wrote The Vanity of Human Wishes. Pass. And governor of Massachusetts who succeeded Jan John Hancock in 1793. Deferred to Elena. Samuel Adams. That's correct. All right, and just under the buzzer. All right, Northern Michigan Christian, 30 seconds on the clock to you. Give the family names of these real or fictitious Sams and Samuels. Poet of the Rime of the Ancient Mariner. Pass. Founder of Quebec City. Pass. Brother of Dean on the TV show Supernatural. Pass. Director of the James Bond films, Skyfall Inspector. Pass. Composer of Adagio for Strings. Pass. And 18th century lexicographer 
We won't get to that, but the answer there is Samuel Johnson. The other answers that were missed, the composer of Adagio for Strings was Barber. The uh, director of the James Bond films Skyfall and Spectre was Sam Mendez. The brother of Dean on the TV show Supernatural, Sam Winchester. Founder of Quebec City, Samuel de Champlain. And the poet of the rhyme of the ancient mariner, Samuel Taylor Coleridge. But we have two categories left. Now it's Northern Michigan Christian's choice. And let's see here, the categories that are remaining are, oh no, it's math, and this is an easy category. Make a choice, please. Easy, easy category. Huh? A choice? Um, oh no, it's math. Oh no, it's math. Quadratics is your actual category. Answer the following about quadratic equation y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay, value that y takes at one point of the equation's roots. Defer to Nick. Zero. That's right. Maximum possible numbers, uh, number of roots. Two. Yes. Product of the roots in terms of A, B, and C. Pass. Terms starting with D for the expression B squared minus 4AC. Pass. Number of distinct roots if B squared minus 4AC equals zero. Pass. Denominator in the quadratic formula in terms of A, B, and C. Defer to Nick. 2A. That's right. Shape the graph makes. Parabola. That's right. Sign spelled S-I-G-N of the A term if the quadratic's graph opens down. We're out of time. Okay. All right, tough category. Manistee Catholic Central. Answer the following about a quadratic equation. Y equals AX squared plus BX plus C. It's a hard question to even read. 30 seconds on the clock. Products of the roots in terms of A, B, and C. Pass. Term starting with D for the expression B squared minus 4AC. Pass. Number of distinct roots of B squared minus 4AC equals zero. Three. Defer to Blake. Three. Nope. Sign spelled S-I-G-N of the A term if the quadratic's graph opens down. Pass. Name for the global minimum. All right, we're out of time. I'll finish that question, though. Name for the global minimum or global maximum of the graph would be vertex. Uh, sign spelled S-I-G-N of the A term if the quadratic's graph opens down was negative. Let's see, number of distinct roots if B squared minus 4 AC equals 0 is one distinct root. Term starting with D for the expression B squared minus 4AC, discriminant, and product of the roots in terms of A, B, and C, it's C slash A. So one of the tougher categories I think we've ever had in Perfect 10, but you both did pretty well on that. So right now we still have a pretty close game, Northern Michigan Christian 110, Manistee Catholic Central 90, and with that we move right on with the game into the home stretch round. This is like round two, it's a combination of toss-up and bonus questions. I'll ask a toss-up question, the team that answers correctly will be asked a bonus. Then we go back to a toss-up question for both teams. The first question of this round, the memoir Born a Crime was written by what South African comedian who hosts The Daily Show on Comedy Central? Kendrick, Northern Michigan Christian. Trevor Daly? Nope, I'm sorry, incorrect. Manistee Catholic Central, Claire. Trevor Noah? That's right, and a bonus for you. What poet noted that the gold complexion of the sun is sometimes dimmed in his sonnet, shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Shakespeare? That's right. Both teams play on this one. What country whose language and people are known as Malagasy is the largest island in the Indian Ocean and lies off the coast of mainland Africa? Jenna, Northern Michigan Christian. Madagascar? That's right. Here's your bonus. Special relativity predicts what phenomenon in which fast-moving objects appear to be shortened along their direction of motion?
Need an answer? No answer. All right, length contraction would have been the correct answer. Both teams, Germanicus was the father of what Roman emperor nicknamed Little Boot, who was assassinated in AD 41 and supposedly tried to make his horse a council? Garrett, Northern Michigan Christian. Caligula. That's correct, and here is another bonus. Which European country's flag consisting of white, blue, and red horizontal stripes was also used by a provincial government in 1917? Netherlands. Nope, sorry, Russia. All right, back to both teams. What disorder whose symptoms include a large protruding tongue, flat nose, and intellectual impairment is caused by an extra copy of chromosome 21? Jenna, Northern Michigan Christian. Down syndrome. That's right, and another bonus. A 1920 robbery and murder at the Slater and Morell Shoe Company led to the execution of what two men seven years later? Sacco and Vendetti. I'm sorry, that is not correct. It was Sacco and Vanzetti. Sorry about that. All right, toss-up question. What piece uses the string section to represent the title boy, depicts his grandfather with a bassoon, and was written by Sergei Prokofiev? Peter and the Wolf was the, uh, was the musical selection. A 2019 study questioned the existence of what psychology effect in which large numbers of onlookers become less likely to come to someone's aid. That's the bystander effect. What author of Mare Christianity and the Screw Tape Letters, Garrett Northern Michigan Christian? C.S. Lewis. That is correct, and here is your bonus. Lake Biwa and the Kanto Plain are on what Asian island home to Yokohama and Osaka? Japan? Nope, I'm sorry, Honshu. What pier? Okay, we are going to close that round out right there. So, Northern Michigan Christian moves ahead a little bit. We have a score of 150 to 110. We're going to give both teams a chance to regroup, and when we come back, we'll play the final countdown, so don't go away. Our great state of Michigan is truly one of a kind. From the city streets to the small towns, you can see it all right here on Destination Michigan. We'll crisscross the state in search of the sights, the sounds, and of course, the people that make Michigan the greatest state in the land. Take in the scenery, meet the people, and experience the wonder of the Great Lakes State. Come along with us as we share your stories on Destination Michigan. Unlock your newest member benefit. Over 1,000 episodes of your favorite PBS shows. American Masters, Antiques Roadshow, Nature, Nova, Masterpiece. Watch the best of PBS anytime, anywhere. Become a member, sign in, and start streaming today. All right, it all comes down to this, the Quiz Central Final Countdown. This is another two-minute rapid-fire round. The first player to ring in gets a shot at answering the question. If you get it wrong, we turn to the opposing team for a chance to answer. Here is your first question. During the Battle of Flamborough Head, what naval commander allegedly exclaimed, I have not yet begun to fight, after being asked to surrender? Next question. What state whose Jackson Lake Dam is in Grand Teton National Park is also home to most of Yellowstone, Kendrick Northern Michigan Christian? Wyoming. That's right. What author depicted William of Baskerville and other monks investigating murders at an Italian abbey in the name of the Rose? Next question. What explorer was accompanied by the navigator Fred Noonan near Howland Island when she disappeared in 1937 during an attempt to fly around the globe? Jenna, Northern Michigan Christian. Amelia Earhart. That's right. What place where you can get yourself clean and hang out with all the boys is said to be a fun Garrett, Northern Michigan Christian? The YMCA. That's right. The Great Fire of London and the Great Plague of London took place in which decade during which Samuel Pepys kept his diary? Next question. Robert Mueller testified in July 2019 before the House Intelligence Committee and what other committee? 
Kendrick, Northern Michigan Christian. The FBI. Nope, I'm sorry, incorrect. How about Manistee Catholic Central? We'll find out in a minute. What particle, when it is by itself, has a half-life of about 10 minutes for beta decay and is found in deuterium, but not normal hydrogen? Next, go ahead, Garrett, Northern Michigan Christian. Proton? Nope, I'm sorry, incorrect. Manistee Catholic Central. Okay, Owen Chamberlain and Emilio Segre discovered the negatively charged antimatter counterpart of what particle which has a mass of also exactly one AMU? Garrett, Northern Michigan Christian. Hydrogen? Nope, I'm sorry, incorrect. Manistee Catholic Central. And that brings us to the end of our round. Proton was actually the name of that there. But it seems as though Northern Michigan Christian hangs on to win, so let's give him a nice round of applause. Uh, let's see, some of the other questions that were missed, the uh, particle um, was neutron. Robert Mullify, Muller testified before the House Judiciary Committee. The Great Fire of London and the Great Plague of London took place in the 1660s. The author of The Name of the Rose is Umberto Eco. And let's see here, the naval commander was John Paul Jones. Again, a good game from both teams. Let's give them both a nice round of applause. And that does it for this edition of Quiz Central. Until next time, like us on Facebook or watch your favorite game online as we feature the best and brightest high school students from around the state. Thanks for tuning in. Support for Quiz Central is provided by the CMU Bookstore. T-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, maroon and gold memories, and an official outfitter of Adidas apparel at the Central Michigan University owned and operated CMU Bookstore. Online shopping seven days a week at cmubookstore.com, on campus at the University Center, and game day locations at Kelly Short Stadium and the John G. Kuhalvi Event Center.